Hey, what's going on, Econ Brad? So I just had somebody reach out to me on Reddit. Uh, what was his username? Let's see here. I made this 14. Uh, so they were they were running a store. Uh, looks like they're starting a clean service, and they were having issues with this background. They wanted to see if you notice. There's a uh, a female in the background eating salad, listening to music. She looks very happy, jamming out with her salad, listening to her music. Um, anyway, so she looks really happy, but she's on every single page, right? Um, now this is not a story view. No offense, I made this. I'm not a fan of the design, but if you need help, you know who to ask. I'll help you out. So, anyways, we'll go to this home page and it's, it's there. We go to services. The images are there. So I'm going to show you how to isolate and you know have certain things show up on certain pages. Um, that way, they're not globally. Um, you know, it's it's. Uh, I would like to make settings for this theme to do this, but this is a quick tutorial on how to do it through the code. Um, so I'm in their store and I'll just I'll, automatically I know where to go. Um, now they they basically created a background image. So if we inspect element here, and you notice, so because it's behind everything, and it's even behind the nav, it's even behind the header. We I we will automatically know that it's either attached to the body or it's attached to the HTML tag, and it's actually I think it's actually attached to both. It's attached to both, so there's really no need to attach it to both. Um, you know, you could just specify and attach it to the body, or me personally, I'd rather have the background image inside of this content uh, container on the for the about us page. But in this case, it looks like they want to have it on on you know the whole thing. Now, let's go figure out how to isolate this, shall we? So we already know that the image is this right here. And one quick way to go and find where this image is, we're just going to highlight the end extension here, woman underscore one dot PNG. I'll copy that. And then what we're going to do is you can tell I already did that. And because the, he, the, uh, they're using debut theme, we're going to go into theme dot CSS. And we're just going to go control F find. And we're going to see, okay, here's where they're doing that. Now, in most cases, you'd be able, you'd be able to um, use Liquid to filter out, check what the URL is, um, and you know if it's a page template, uh, if the URL contains about us. And, and, but for some reason, in theme dot, this theme.css.liquid, it's not actually working. I don't know why normally it would. But one thing is, I noticed in theme.liquid, they already have this style tag. You know, they're loading fonts. We can throw some CSM, CSS in there already. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, this code right here, copy, and we'll, we'll get rid of that. We don't need it there. Um, or if you want to keep it there, you can comment it out. The way you do that is you highlight this and on your keyboard, all you got to do is press alt forward slash. Like, so I wouldn't, no, my, my bad, control forward slash, and it'll comment it out. Um, and then we already copied that, so we're going to go here. We're going to copy the CSS. We're going to go in here. I'm going to paste it. And the formatting is a little bit weird. I don't know why. Whatever. It's all good. It's all good, man. All right. You know what? We'll just leave it. Screw it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little squiggly bracket. Percent. If template contains page and oops, and this is how you differentiate so you can have it show up on every single page by just doing if template contains page but then what we're going to do is we're going to say if it contains if the template contains the word page and the page dot url equals equals close that let's get the page url and then we're going to go here, I'm going to grab the first forward slash all the way to the end, copy that like so. And we're just going to paste that bad boy right in here. And then we're going to close this and do end if. Oops. Hit save. Make sure you save this. That's commented out. And once you're done saving, we're just going to go here. Refresh. Now let's go to the home page and see if it's there. Voila, we now have 
a image on only or a background image only on the about us page now guys um if you if you like and subscribe and comment below i will make a video on how to create settings so you don't have to do the code so that way i'll create a i'll, I'll show you how to create a custom page template to allow you to have background images on each individual page and i'll teach you how to do that but only if we get say uh, how about 20 likes on this video and you guys comment and you subscribe is that too much to ask for anyways guys that's that um glad i could teach you something new hopefully it helped you if you if you didn't know how to do this now you do and uh you know drop any questions comments suggestions anything you want down below in the comment section and also uh, be sure to check out our facebook page we've got a hundred and i think 20 people in there now um we were at, we're at like 82 subscribers now so we're feeling pretty good pretty excited um i know things have been kind of quiet lately just uh you know hanging in there during COVID and holidays and yeah anyways guys thank you so much for watching and uh until next time